In this world, there is only one thing more important than your life. Everybody struggles to find precious metals because that's the one thing that keeps this planet from falling into chaos. Some of us consume the metal at its purest form to gain its ultimate strength. I'm Namisa, and this is my story. It's me, Namisa, and I'm back again. Thank you so much, everybody who voted for me, because we made it to the top 10 of the NYX Professional Makeup Face Awards and L. But here's the thing. Obviously, I want to go to the top five. And so again, I'm going to need your help. Public voting starts May 16th and ends May 23rd. And yes, again, international voting is allowed. You can vote for me once a day, so that means seven votes in total. And to my fellow Dutchies, and alweer bedankt voor het supporten. Jullie hebben geen idee hoeveel dat voor me betekent. Jullie steun is echt immense. The theme for this challenge is It's a Metallic World, and I decided to make my character's world revolve around metal. It's pretty much a post-apocalyptic, futuristic type of world where metals or like you know silver metals are the most precious thing in the world they live off of it they cannot go without it and there are people or characters like myself out there who are scavengers who are looking for the purest metal out there so that they can harness its power and become almighty and powerful <laughs> i custom painted the weapon i kind of customized my hair so i made the dreads and stuff like that if you want to see how i created these makeup looks then you know what you gotta do for this video i'm going to pre-paint the foam latex prosthetic sometimes it's a little bit easier because i can fully see what i'm doing instead of having the prosthetic on my face it just saves me some time especially if you don't really know what you're gonna do with the look it helps to just pre-paint the prosthetic because if you make a mistake you can fix it and you don't have to worry about the fact that you do have the prosthetic on your face and you're gonna have to make it work so with all foam latex prosthetics you have to seal it first i'm using a bright blue prosthetic paint and i'm applying that all over the prosthetic, obviously on the left side. I'm just using a latex sponge and I'm just stippling the product all over. Sealing a foam latex prosthetic is essential because foam, the word already says it, it's porous, it sucks up product. It does not let any other products adhere really well if you don't seal it, so make sure you do. Once I've done that, I'm taking a very light blue, kind of lavender shade, and I'm dry brushing that on the highest points of the prosthetic. It's an easy technique for when you want to create definition in your prosthetic, meaning that the darker shade underneath is still gonna be visible in the crevices of the prosthetic, so in the lines, and the lighter shade is going to highlight all the high points of the prosthetic. Once I've done that, I'm taking a dark blue alcohol activated makeup shade and with a tiny brush, I'm applying that in the lines of the prosthetic to make them stand out even more. To activate alcohol activated makeup palettes, you need to use 99% isopropyl alcohol. To create some texture in the prosthetic, I'm using a white alcohol activated makeup color and a spatter brush and I'm spattering that all over the left side of the prosthetic, again to create texture. Now I mixed a red and dark blue alcohol activated makeup color and I'm going to apply that on the nose, so on the center part of the prosthetic, a little bit on the lines but I'm mostly focusing that on the perimeter of the piece. There's no rhyme or reason for this. I'm just creating some more texture, some more definition. 
It really helps to look up reference pictures of let's say lizards or fish, like tropical fish, because they have really beautiful patterns. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just stippling that on there. It's really going back and forth with your shades until you're satisfied with how it looks. To soften the intensity of the blotches, so to say, I'm going back in with that really light lavender prosthetic paint just to blend it in a little bit more. Now I'm almost using that same mixture as I used before, but I added a black to it, so a black alcohol activated color to darken it up. And I'm mostly focusing that again on the perimeter of the face, following the lines in the prosthetic and also on the nose. Now again, I'm going back in with that white alcohol activated color to spatter on some more texture to bring that back because I lost a little bit of that texture. Then for the last part in this pre-painting session, I'm using a metallic cobalt blue alcohol activated shade and I'm applying that on the bridge of the nose, on the brow bone, I'm applying that on um, the wrinkles underneath the eyes. Pretty much the high points of the prosthetic is where I'm applying that shimmer to give it more of an alien feel. And that is it for pre-painting the prosthetic. Now let's move on to applying it onto my face. I'm starting out with a clean face and then I'm taking a prosthetic adhesive and I'm applying a thin layer onto my nose bridge and onto my brows. I always like to start with the center of my face so I know that the prosthetic will be aligned perfectly. Now I'm offering up the prosthetic to the center of my face, pressing firmly down so I know that the prosthetic is adhered perfectly. And then I'm just going to adhere the rest of the prosthetic to my face. I'm just taking a Q-tip and the prosthetic adhesive, applying a layer onto my skin, and then I'm pressing down the prosthetic. And I'm doing that for every section of my face. Take your time when applying a prosthetic because you want that prosthetic to be adhered perfectly. You don't want to skip any section on your face because it's gonna leave air bubbles underneath and that way your prosthetic may come loose or it may look weird. Just take your time. Remember, this is foam latex, so it sucks up the product, AKA the adhesive, so you don't have to necessarily go underneath the prosthetic or underneath the edge to adhere it. I also decided to place some horns on the right side of my face. I'm applying a black prosthetic paint onto the horn this will be my base for another color that will be put on top. And then to blend in the horns with the rest of the prosthetic, I'm pretty much repeating the same steps as I did for pre-painting the face prosthetic. I'm taking a silver pigment, which I mixed with a little bit of water, and I'm applying that over that black prosthetic paint. It's cool, it's cool looking, and it fits the theme. Now to blend in the mouth and eye area, I'm using the same steps I used for pre-painting the prosthetic. So first I'm laying down the bright blue prosthetic paint, then I'm taking the light blue slash lavender prosthetic paint, and I'm kind of stippling that on there, blending it in with my finger. Then with a little bit of that dark blue alcohol paint, I'm blending that in. To create a big winged eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner Pen. I don't have as much space around my eye as I normally would because of the prosthetic, but I think I made it work pretty nicely. I'm elongating the inner corners of my eye to kind of match the beauty makeup that I created for this tutorial. To give my eyes even more of a sinister look, I'm also using a black eye coal and I'm applying that on my lower waterline. For my lips, I'm using the same black prosthetic paint that I used for my horns, only this time I'm applying it a little bit messily. And to amp up that blue metallic highlight that I applied on the prosthetic before in pre-painting, I used the NYX Holographic Halo Powder in the shade Mermazing. And I'm applying that on the same areas where I applied that blue metallic alcohol activated paint. To tie in my lips with my horns, I used the same metallic pigment I used before, again mixed with a little bit of water, and I dab that onto the lips. And then for my neck, I'm using a black face paint and I'm applying that a little messily because I wanted it to match to the beauty makeup look that you're going to see in a couple of seconds. And I'm done. 
First, I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm applying that all over my face. Then I'm using a matte black face paint and I'm applying that on my forehead and on my brows only. Please ignore the design that I created underneath my eyes in this video because I changed my mind halfway through the tutorial and I wiped it away and created something else. So don't worry about what's underneath my eyes. It's not part of the look. To create an arrow shape on the tear duct area, I used the NYX Epic Mousse Black Liner. And after that, to fill it all in, I used the NYX That's The Point Super Edgy Eyeliner. And then to mattify everything, I used a matte black eyeshadow and I applied it on top of that. I'm really packing on that eyeshadow to make sure that it's really opaque pigmented, you know what I mean. Then I'm tracing the shape of that eyeliner with a silver metallic pigment. I mixed the pigment with a little bit of water to make it liquid and easier to apply. And now I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner Pen and I'm applying that along the silver liner I applied before. So I'm pretty much outlining the shape again. Now I'm using that same silver pigment that I used for the eyeliner and I'm just applying that on my cheekbones and I'm applying that on the outer part of my brow bone area and also on top of my brow. And now I'm applying a matte black eyeshadow to kind of blend that silver and uh, black together. Next up, I'm using that same pigment, only this time I'm applying that with a spatter brush to create some speckles and texture. Then with a different brush and that same pigment, I'm stippling on some more texture on my brow area, near my nose bridge, you know, just kind of in a random pattern. With this makeup, I kind of wanted it to match to my rifle, the one that I painted. Then with a couple of NYX's makeup remover wipes, I wiped away the design that I created underneath my eyes. Like I said before, I was just not feeling it, so I wiped it away. So I retraced the lines with the Epic Ink Liner Pen. I also reapplied that silver liner. I pretty much wanted to clean up the eye makeup look. Then I used some more of that silver pigment and I created a random pattern on my cheekbones to tie it in with what I have going on on my forehead. And yes, I used that same pigment again to spatter on some more silver spatters and texture. Now with the black face paint and the silver pigment, I'm just creating some stripes on my nose bridge because for some reason I thought it would look interesting. Now I'm taking a lighter concealer and I applied that right underneath the eye makeup. And with a flat brush, I'm pretty much cleaning up the shape a little bit more. And then with a NYX Precision Blending Sponge, I'm blending that out. Now I'm applying the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just blending that into my skin. I'm also blending it a little bit on that concealer. And then to give myself even more coverage, I'm applying the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in the shade Golden Honey. Also, mixing these two shades together creates more of an accurate um, match to the rest of my body. And then I'm setting that foundation with the NYX SFX Setting Powder. Now with the same black face paint I used before, I'm tracing my jawline and then I'm blending it down onto my neck. Remember, I'm inspired by Mad Max, so this cannot look too perfect. Now I'm using the NYX Holographic Halo Powder in the shade Mermazing. I'm applying that on my cheeks, on my brow area, on my ear, on my chin, and on the tip of my nose. It's supposed to be holographic, but on me it looks metallic and so I had to use it for this look. Now for the last time, I'm taking that black face paint to create some more texture because I lost a little bit of that black face paint on my cheekbones and I wanted it to tie in with my forehead and with my neck. Now I'm taking the NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner again, only this time I'm applying that on the corner of my mouth and on my nostril. Now I'm quickly applying my other false lash onto my lash line. After that, I applied a little bit of lash glue above that silver liner right there and on my nose bridge as well. And then I took some chunky holographic glitter or circles and I applied that on my nose bridge, above my crease, next to my nose bridge, and on the outer part of my lower lash line, kind of on my cheekbone. And to tie in this look with the FX makeup look, I'm going to apply the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Little Denim Dress. And then over top, I'm applying the NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss in the shade Day Club. 
And that was it for the entire tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please vote for me for the Maisa Hunzweig. Me! Hi! <laughs> and until the next video, love you all. Bye!